hello everyone it's me a summary welcoming you to my new logo design tutorial and today i'll show you this type of logo that is simple and tricky way i'll show you so let's start the tutorial if you're new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications mm -hmm. going to the file at first taking new options from here taking an artboard 2000 pixel and 2000 pixel you may take the rgb or cmyk rgb for the web purpose cmyk for the printing purpose and provide the name over there d logo okay that's fine and hit the create button and after that going to the polygon tool select once you will get the small window write down three for the triangle and to make this one 50 pixel and hit okay so we got our triangle over there turn off the fill color only the stroke color over there so in this case or in this tutorial i'm using the essential classic workplace and if you want to use that please just tick over there uh, but uh, someone uh, who already used this one but not showing the, all the settings and all the tools in the same way you should go to the reset the essential classic it will be as like me here press the alter option button and press the shift and hold it when you are getting the intercept option just leave it you're getting a copy of this press control or command d for the duplicate or repeat the layers i'll make uh, several copies so select all the steps and taking in the middle of the artboard that's good that's fine and now again press alter option button and drag like that when you are getting the intercept just leave it and here you are getting the uh, flip horizontal and vertical just make it vertical now this one is perfectly match with each other so making another copy by pressing alter option button just making this one that's fine and now copy this one controller command d you can save this one controller command d for the repetition okay that's fine select all the stops and now you have to make this one 90 degree angle yeah that's fine and now going to the shape builders tool and making a color like this now we can make this one d like that one and two three three part we are getting over there going to the magic one tool select once in a line all the line will select and delete the line once now select this logo and turn off the stroke color that's fine and now we'll provide the gradient over there so how to use the gradient here is a gradient options select this and select this i from the keyboard and v from the keyboard for the move tool i from the keyboard and select this so you are getting the gradient like this if you just turning like that it will be like this or if you make this one 90 degree it will be like that and it could be so we are getting the dimension over there so here i'll change the color uh, i'll provide this color the technology related colors so this one it could be and press i from the keyboard this one i'll just give like that and this one i'll change it into the red type which is the, the play button uh, so like that so G from the keyboard you can adjust the gradient from here if you want okay or you can just give like that so G from the keyboard that's fine so we are getting the shadow over there. that's just uh, showing it like uh, it's folding from this to this okay that's good and making it group and making this one into the middle of the artboard that's good and taking square shape behind the logo so taking a dark type uh, background so giving here the blue and this blue or you can adjust the light or color if you want so i think this blue okay here is the hsb hue saturation and brightness so making this one like that okay g from the keyboard and making the gradient like this that's fine sending the gradient into back layer that's good that's fine okay and if you want you can make this one more darker 
by using over there this portion and this portion okay that's fine now time to write down something like uh, the name of the logo like uh, this one is the d symbol you can write down the uh, like um, daily gram or um, like um, daily play whatever it is but dual play whatever it is so making the font size taking the font exo exo bold and giving the white color writing over there daily play D A I L Y P L A Y daily play or daily pay whatever it is it could be a little bit bigger yeah right press if you want you can create outline when you're making create outline it uh, no longer uh, in a font it will be the shape uh, so it will help you out to make the proper alignment so that's good or you can keep it for the future edit so here I'm making another uh, write down the TM for the trademark actually. So making this one into all caps, the font color white and the form light font and making the font size smaller. That's fine and place over here. So all the things making group properly and this one we should uh, make this one group and uh, proper alignment yeah g from the keyboard controller command g for the group and making into middle of the artboard now you can make it more darker if you want suppose i want to make this one darker like that or you can take the solid color it will help you out to make this one okay i'll choose the blue type dark color yeah that's fine that makes sense and now you can write down the lorem ipsum type text over there so here that's fine and i should delete this portion we don't need that and we want this one this type of text not all caps so the presentation should be nice and this logo control C and control F for the forward twist making it bigger and making this one into white color make the opacity down like a 10 yeah that's fine and copy this rectangle or the square control C control F making into upper side of the layer right press and making it clipping mask and sending into back layer if you want you can make this one like 50 percent down okay it looks like a, a professional look if you want you can just make this one bigger so play you can make this one the play like triangle in a play button you are keeping over there it will make sense uh, actually so like this yeah this play button and this play um, in to the triangle and this logo that is the presentation skill or the, the presentation style if you want you can do like that so this one is the smartest way in 2022 so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notification new tutorials about the graphic designing photo editing manipulation and other stuffs so stay safe, stay healthy, keep me in your prayers. Until the next video, bye-bye.